Hi everyone. I'm in the process of getting myself organized to go to China. This will be the third time I've gone to China. Um, this time I'm going to Beijing, Chengdu, Chongqing and Hong Kong. I've been to Hong Kong before and it's a really interesting place because although it's uh, controlled and it's a part of China, um, it's definitely uh, two systems. There's two different kinds of currency, you use Hong Kong dollars, um, there's heaps of um, advertising and content which you don't get on the mainland. So it's definitely two very separate and very different countries, but you get all of that Chinese culture in a really modern, fast-moving metropolis. So Hong Kong is really interesting and I'm excited to go there again. I've never been to Beijing. I'm expecting it to be smoggy and, and polluted and dirty like everyone says, but um, it's obviously a very old city and so I think it's going to be interesting to see uh, you know, what the city is like up close and um, what the people are like as well. So I don't really know very many people from Beijing. It's, it's much more common for me to meet people from uh, Guangdong, Shenzhen, um, Shanghai. So I've only, I think I've only met, maybe met one person from Beijing. So um, my theory is if you uh, grow up in Beijing, you have enough contacts and, and network to stay in Beijing. So maybe you don't need to travel so much. Um, uh, Chengdu and Chongqing I haven't been to before, but I'm really fascinated. Chengdu sounds like it's the um, Silicon Valley of China and it's surrounded by these beautiful bamboo forests and it's the home of the panda in China. Um, so that's gonna be interesting because uh, from what I read, and the, the videos I've seen online, Chengdu has a kind of a laid-back lifestyle because it's, it's surrounded by these beautiful um, forests and plains and lots of agriculture and so it's quite a, a sort of a chilled out place. Whereas um, if you go down the road, four hours by train, two and a half hours by bullet train to uh, Chongqing, um, Chongqing is apparently uh, crazy. Uh, they, the, the, the lifestyle is a lot more fast-paced, uh, they love hot pot, they love spicy food, uh, the weather is really hot in summer, you get sort of um, 35, 36 degrees uh, for, you know, weeks on end. So it sounds like uh, that's a really interesting, um, interesting vibe and, and a really interesting contrast to places like um, Shanghai um, and uh, Shenzhen and Guangzhou, which I've been before. So I'm really excited to um, see what it's like, see the kinds of food that people eat, see what's in the supermarkets, see if I can find uh, wine and meat and milk and all the kinds of products that we um, export from New Zealand and Australia and see if I can find those products on the ground, uh, see what the locals think of them, what they know about New Zealand, what they know about Australia and the sorts of things they're interested in finding out, you know, do they want to come and visit um, New Zealand, do they want to come here for tourism, do they send their kids here for education. Because um, we've only got in New Zealand approximately 200,000 Chinese people living in New Zealand. And when you think of how big China is in terms of total population, that's a tiny fraction of people living here and working here and visiting here in terms of students. Maybe student population is 25, 30,000 Chinese students. It feels like a lot more than that when you walk down uh, Queen Street and when you go to the casino, but I think that's the same in, in any country that a lot of Asian people like being in the city, they like the metropolis, they like to eat out, so they're not gonna be at home in the suburbs. So these cultural differences are the sorts of things that really fascinate me and the kinds of things that I'm really hoping to share on this channel. So please uh, please like and subscribe and um, be sure that you check back soon because we're gonna have heaps of content from this trip and lots of content that really explains the ins and outs of um, the market in China and the things that I find fascinating. So um, hopefully you'll join me and check back soon. Thanks, see ya.